Going where the fair winds blow Our home is where the waters flow We'll show you what we've come to know On board while sailing wisdom First thing is get a dinghy outboard motor. So we have looked around and found that there's one just up the river and we're gonna go get that first so that we can actually get around here in Algarve and explore. Then we're gonna go shopping and get a few other important things that we need. Our sink has stopped up, so we need a plunger and just boring stuff like that. It brings back memories to when we started. <laughs> <laughs> in the Chesapeake Bay. This boat has actual branches as its mast and boom. Mm. Spars. And spars. We made it here. It was about a mile rowing upriver against the current and against the wind. And now we're going to buy an outboard. Here's the motor that we're getting. <laughs> it's the exact same motor that we had, uh, except it's newer, obviously. <laughs> and we're really excited. So the one that we had was two horsepower. And this is an upgrade of 2.3. today was this. So it's actually required everywhere to have one of these and we just haven't gotten it because in the states it's not really regulated but uh, here it's apparently much more strict. So when this is up on your boat it's the daytime version of an anchor light uh, and everybody around us has one so we bought one. <laughs> okay now that we have a dinghy motor we are going to go adventuring today. Uh, we've got our bathing suits on and we're gonna go swimming on the beach and s explore some caves. The caves are really what makes Algarve special. It's why we chose here to come before we went into the Med. And so today is really exciting for us. We're gonna go explore and just have a great time. amazing and the cool part about it is that we're in here all alone there's no one else here because it's September nope it's October <laughs> and uh, I can just imagine that in the summer this is crowded with tourists but we have this cave this incredible cave that was carved out by the ocean all to ourselves
Does this remind you of the caves in the Bahamas? It does, but it's like way cooler. Yeah. <laughs> Shall we go to the next cave? Onward. The gasoline we got in the Azores is purple. come on the tour boats come in here on really quickly the speedboat they get here they come in they're in for like a few minutes and then they're back out they never actually touch the sand they just come into the inlet of the cave sit there in the surf and then leave quickly so it's better than not seeing it at all but it doesn't compare to actually coming here Yes, the bottom's made of shells. <laughs> Not nice, <my> feet. <laughs> <laughs> the sandstone of the cave, it's really sound deadening. Like the just the ambient noise is so weird in this room. Doctor is now also a ferry service. <laughs> so we were here, we made some friends, and some of them had gotten injured on the kind of treacherous swim in here because you got all these boats from the tour boats coming through trying to get like squeezed into here, plus people swimming and paddleboarders and kayakers and 
it's a nightmare. So we offered them a ride back to the beach, that way they didn't have to swim back. So we ran uh, two couples back, and now we're gonna head out ourselves. This was absolutely beautiful, but we've got a six mile dinghy ride back and a really exciting dinner plan. So, time to go. on the fancier side, right on the beach, and it's called All Beef. With small patches of fudge fudge, we come across another one of Earth's buttholes. The whole hike was worth it just for this view. And now we just have to prepare to leave and go to Cadiz. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. And if you'd like to follow our journey in real time on a map, receive postcards from our ports of call and messages directly to the boat, you can go ahead and become a patron using the link in the description down below.